Well, getting students interested in STEM subjects can be a challenge, and it's one Oklahoma astronaut John Harrington takes very personally. So much so, he hopped on his bicycle to ride across country to encourage students to choose a career in one of the STEM fields. Our Lisa Hines caught up with Mr. Harrington as he made a couple of pit stops at some Oklahoma schools. John Harrington is on what he calls a rocket trek. 2,800 miles so far, a little over that. Uh, started in Cape Flattery, Washington, a little place called Nia Bay, uh, Olympic Peninsula, uh, Washington State. Uh, Washington, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma. All the way to Cape Canaveral, Florida, stopping at schools in an effort to... Promote math and science, really. One, a personal challenge for me, uh, riding a bicycle across the country, and then at the same time doing something that can benefit, uh, hopefully benefit kids and motivate them by doing something practical and tying math and science to that. Well, in the process of doing this, I came up with the idea uh, last year as I was attending NASA Explorer Schools during the openings, the kickoff, and I would go as an astronaut and I'd do my talk and then I'd leave and I realized there was something missing. It was before and after. And you know, what, you know, it happens now, but what happens before, what happens after? So if I could tie it to use my astronaut thing as a hook and say, okay, maybe kids will listen to me, and then tie it to something that's fun and practical and, and, and put math in there, I said, can I, I could do it with a bike. And so it was Indian reservations and NASA Explorer Schools, and a lot of NASA Explorer Schools are on reservations. So it was a natural to uh, tie them all together. With only 240 students, while small, Sasakwa Public Schools is Oklahoma's only NASA Explorer School. Kyle Wilson is the high school principal and says having John Harrington come to their tiny school is very exciting. We used John Harrington in our application when we, when we wrote the grant. Um, local boy made good, you know, NASA. Uh, he's from Wetumpka, which is not too far from here. He's born in Wetumpka. So uh, a Native American. We have a large Native American influence. 76% uh, of our kids are Native American or of some descent. So uh, that was just huge for us. As a NASA Explorer School, Sasakwa is able to use a lot of resources from NASA, like John Harrington, to help interest their students in course subjects that industry is so dependent upon. They're basically, we started out in the STEM field, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, so a real push for the science and mathematics. Uh, a lot of NASA's workforce is, is aging, so then there's not a lot of people that are in that pipeline, so their goal is to kind of get people interested in those fields so that they can fill those uh, positions here in the future. And for students like Millard Epley, it's piqued his interest. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You learn a lot of new stuff that you'd never think you'd ever even think of having. For Garrett Brackett, well, he's already thinking about technology in ways most boys his age aren't. Artificial intelligence. You know how some games today, you pick this one choice and that's how the game goes. I'm not really into that. I, I like it better for the game to be artificially smart. And to have it, you pick this choice, not that's how it's going to turn out, but how you want it to turn out. Oklahoma creativity at its finest, and something astronaut John Harrington says schools across America need to focus on. Football's great, neat, you know, our entertainment's neat, it's all a lot of fun, but they're not going to change the world. You know, STEM people are going to change the world, and that's what we need to make sure we do.